Hey guys, G.I. Joe here. Just want to show you guys what I just found out and I wish I would have known a long time ago. I was reading up on Google on how to get the best quality and I figured out that you render in 1440p and your videos get the new VP9 codec. Right here is the old video from uh, yesterday, part 15. Right click, Stats for Nerds, you'll see the AVC1. That's the old codec for MP4s. My new video, which I just uploaded last night, has got the VP9. And you'll see the difference here. It has the, um, let me go back to where I was, the option for 440, 60 right there. Which I'm not getting on this one here because of the uh, resolution. Let me get back to where I was. Uh, just a, an example fight. Somewhere here will suffice. Okay, we're just going to play this video just to show what's going on here. This is the old AVC codec. YouTube automatically gives this to you if you have low views on your channel or don't have that many subscribers for some reason. But right off the bat, you'll see a lot of block pixelation and things like that, especially in the names in the top right and left. The uh, avatar icons, they kind of get choppy during sequences where there's a lot of stuff on the screen such as now and um, especially during the KO Ken here you'll see it looks really blocky and I, on my local drive this stuff looks really good I'll show you a comparison since we've already seen that let's go to my local drive and you'll see that I'm using stuff that's um, the bitrate is in the 48k range which is decent and um, that's usually you want to source video that's really good and know that what I'm saying is my own opinion I, I'm not gonna go for a perfect um, breakdown on this this is just how it comes out and everything but this is just what just I wanted to help my fellow channels that on something that I found out and I noticed a lot of people that are uploading maybe gameplay is, is not uh, VP9 is still the AVC so there's that. We'll actually play this on my locale and uh, you'll see how this is right here. This is the quality of the VP9. So basically you're getting like a lossless format. YouTube is not crapping you out like it was on, uh, previous, on my previous uploads. So you should be getting these this quality uploads on my stuff from here on out. And uh, we'll play the VP9 now just to show that. Um, make sure it's on 440. As you can see, the quality, once it gets to the fighting, you'll, you'll be able to tell, is the same as what I just showed. And those with 2K monitors may see it even more clearly than I am. I'm only on the... LCD TV because it was really cheap and I got it on a sale and that's was what I use so <laughs> Kind of cool, but you can see right there the uh, during the action none of the none of that pixelation is happening anymore and uh, The names aren't blurring everything looks crisp everything looks sharp like it should be I just wanted to share this with people. I'm actually gonna show you my um, Vegas settings here in a minute I just want to let you see the see the uh, the moves down in the bottom left are not pixelating, blocking out like they were, and this is all because of the VP9 codec, which is what you want. If you want that, you need to upload in 440p, 1440p. So let's put a pause on this, and uh, we'll go to Vegas, and I'll show you what I got going here. Um, I just use my source material, but you'll see my uh, project is that setting. And uh, up here, you got to make sure that your your uh, project setting is 2,560 by 1,440. And this is just kind of the settings if you want to look at what I got going here. All this best Gaussian, no deinterlace, de disable resample for sure. And um, I just named that and saved it what I wanted it to be. Audio really. You can put whatever you feel like you want to do for audio. And um, also, there's usually some scripts you can get to run for tools, scripting. I have one down here that I was using, but um, 
it kind of doesn't work that great. There's probably some more online, but switches, you want to make sure all, all these video clips are disable resample. That's what causes a lot of the blocking and stuff. Let's go to my render as, and um, I'll show you what I've been using for this. Let me see if I can find that. Right here uh, is my custom template for that. You'll see my custom frame size is 2560 by 1440. And I got the frame rate as close to 60 as possible. Variable bit rate, I was just using 40, 25, 25K is fine. And uh, NV encoder. This right here, um, this Magix HEVC, that right there, and um, the NVIDIA NVNC, this video was 45 minutes, and it took an hour and 15 minutes to encode with my NVIDIA GTX 1080. You want that enabled. If you use this right here, uh, it won't use the, um, the graphics card. It'll take like three hours, so best to use that graphics card if you have it. Vegas 16 supports the latest uh, GTX line so you want to make sure you have it. I got high quality on the preset down here and uh, VBR high quality is um, what you probably want for that. Project you want to make sure this is set the best and that's what I encoded to get these results guys. You'll see the estimated file size is 7 gigabytes. I have one MBPS upload which is terrible but I work with it. It takes maybe a day to upload this video then I let it render out and you have to wait about 15 hours I read for the actual VP9 encode to actually kick in so you'll get your um, VP9 and all that. So that's what you do to get these results guys and um, thanks for watching and I uh, hope this helped out anybody because I've been needing to get my videos to look a lot better than what they do. They look good on mobile, but they just don't look good on desktop, and I finally found a fix. So uh, have a good one, guys. We'll see you later.